what's up guys, Nathan Hamilton here. Today, I'm gonna to show you a quick tutorial on how to set up window snapping within Mac OS. That's what we're going for. And if you've come from a PC like I have recently, you'll find that, that you don't have the capabilities to do the or drag and snap feature that you're accustomed to within Windows. But there are options within the Mac OS to set this up. You just need to download some apps some are free, some cost 99 cents or two, bu two, three bucks, which is well worth the money for the capabilities of snapping windows because it does make you more efficient. So I'm gonna show you three different ways to set that up. And the first one is a paid app called Better Snap Tool. And you can get to it within the app store and you'll see it's 2.99 for the download, five stars rating, um, and is a pretty useful snap tool. Now the difference between Better Snap Tool and some of the op other options we're going to show you is it has some additional features. So you can see there's the standard drag and snap to the top right, top and so forth. But what you're going to get beyond the keyboard shortcuts as well is right here, you're going to have control over secondary click on the red, yellow and green radio buttons within Windows. Now this is something within the other tools we're going to show you today that you don't have those capabilities and it is something that may make it worth the $2.99 fee which if we're talking about it is actually downright cheap. So all in all it's definitely an option to consider. You get your basic drag and snap and then keyboard shortcuts and additional customization which you won't find with the second one also in the app store called Magnet. And we can see with Magnet, similarly rated, five stars. This one's just under a buck at 99 cents. And you're going to get some of the same capabilities as Better Snap Tool. You have the drag and drop capabilities, but what you do have is you have some more customization to say, get these four tile layouts, or even in this case, you can get a thirds layout um, and you have the capabilities to set up keyboard shortcuts which is pretty standard with the various apps and downloads that we're looking at today. So this one is definitely an option to consider um, with how cheap they are. You know, you could download uh, both of these apps and see which one you like, but I think you really can't go wrong with either one. And the last one to consider is actually a free tool and you can search it out here. It's called Spectacle. Spectacle app should bring us here there we go with the first search result. And Spectacle App, as I mentioned, is free. Now what you're going to lose compared to the other options is the, you can only use keyboard shortcuts. You don't have the drag and snap capabilities. And you can see I've got it set up in my system here and it's loaded. And what you do is you do Option Command and say right is going to snap it to the right. Option Command left to the left of course and then down up and then option command F is full screen. Now for the people that don't want to spend some money it is a useful app but of course remember that you just don't get those drag and snap capabilities which you do with the other two. So that is something you're going to sacrifice um, when getting this free app. Beyond that you still have uh, the keyboard shortcuts as I mentioned. You have some good customizability of the screen and it should help you be more efficient Ultimately, which one you choose is up to you. Like I mentioned, I don't think you can go wrong with any of these various apps here. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video and you can use this to your advantage. And let me know in the comments which one you prefer or if you found some other tools that do the same job. Thanks for listening, guys. See you in the next video.